Hi there, welcome to my page. My name is Jill from Movement with Jill. I am a Boston-based Pilates instructor who also does virtual and online classes. Send me a message, reach out, join my platform. I would love to have you. Today, we are gonna do a really quick full body workout using the short box. So make sure you've got your short box. We're gonna put it next to our machines. I am using one light spring. So for me on my Allegro 2, it is one yellow. You can use a blue, a little too heavy for me but to each their own. And we're actually gonna start on the box in our all fours. If you have a warm up you wanna do before, absolutely get into that. Whatever your body needs today, you do you, and then get yourself ready, come right onto the box. So we have our short box on, and it's on the floor right next to my machine. And it's not fully, fully up against it. There's a little bit of space between, so there's some room. And again, one light spring, whatever that means for you. We're gonna come onto the box here, hands on the front, knees towards the back, but let's just take a few cat pounds before we really get that carriage moving. So rounding the spine, eyes to thighs, and then releasing right back out. Again, exhale, rounding the spine, eyes to thighs, and then releasing that carriage out. One more here, really exaggerating, lifting that spine up to the sky, and then release it right back out long through the crown of the head. We're going to take our hands onto the box and then you're just going to step your legs right out into a plank. So we're in an elevated plank here. Shoulders down and away, scooping the abs up and away. We're just holding here for a few moments, warming up the full body, and then we get right into that series. You're going to pull one knee in, tap the box, right back out, little tap and reach. And if the box is too close to you, we just step our hands back, walk yourself back, give yourself a little bit more room here, scoop and scoop. Just a few more here, strong through the upper body. You can always be on the forearms, you can turn the palms out. We have four. Keep those hips leveled. Last two. Last one for each, and then pull your right knee in, little press into the box, in. In, scooping the abs, feel those low abs as we push. We're pushing the knee into the box, making contact, pressing four, three, two, and one, reach it back, other side, pull in, press in. In, you really wanna feel those low abs fire on, so make sure we're pushing into the box, three, two, and one leg goes down, take a quick downward dog, drop the heels, reaching back through the glutes, through those sit bones, and then shift yourself right back onto the box, hands towards the front, knees towards the back, and again, finding that place that feels comfortable and right for you. I'm gonna take my hand closest to the shoulder rest, up against the shoulder rest, and it's just resting here. We're gonna start to press out and in and make sure that you feel equally weighted through those three limbs that are on the box so that arm the knees pressing out bending right back in press and bend good reach it out right back in and we're going to eventually turn this into a little jump so think core is active belly button is pulling up and away from the shirt i know i'm in a baggy shirt today but i'm up in boston and it is freezing today. Bending, send it right back out one more like this. And then we start to jump the carriage. Maybe it's just a little jump, right back in. Little jump, right back in. And maybe it only leaves your hand about an inch or so. Maybe we even get more. Press away and catch. Each time, let's try and make it a little bit stronger, a little bit more aggressive. Press and bend. Good. Reach right back in. Take it four. Strong through the core, last two, last one, and then you're going to catch onto that shoulder rest, press it all the way out. I'm going to bring my left knee to the center of the box, send my right leg back behind me, lift and lower that right leg, tap it down, lift right back out. I'm reaching through my arm, reaching through the leg, tap, squeeze and lift, so we're feeling those abdominals. That right glute and hamstring, tap it down, squeeze and lift, take it for six. Equally weighted through arm and leg. Take it for three, 
Last two, full range, one more, stay lifted. We're gonna bend the arm and the knee, and then everything reaches out. Stay equal through arm and leg. Try not to shift your weight around. Bend everything in, reach it all back out. Exhale, and lengthen. Good, pull it in. Send the leg out, we take it for four. Reach in opposition, final three. Exhale out, last two, feel those abs, feel the glutes, one more. Stay out, hold it here, little pulses up with this right leg, nice and long. Reach, reach, take it for four, three, two, and one, pull everything in, closing the carriage, and then you're gonna grab onto the long loop right here, and I'm gonna turn myself around. I'm facing away from you. I'm taking my arm through the long loop, equally weighted through those knees, nice and heavy here. I've separated the knees, and then I'm bringing my arms back behind the head. We're gonna crunch over to the foot bar, nice and tall, right back up. Exhale, crunch. Rise it back up, try to keep those hips heavy. That knee on this side, closer towards the tower, is staying really heavy, so we crunch over, right back up. You can always do the short loop if you need more tension, or just scooch closer to the foot bar. Crunch over, right back up. Let's take it for three. Last two. One more here, crunching over, rise all the way up nice and tall. This time you're gonna twist at the ribs out the window. I have a window here, so that makes sense for me. You're gonna twist towards the foot bar and then back through center. Thinking about rotation from the rib cage, so glutes are squeezing, we're twisting and center. Try not to let those legs or the hip come with you. Twist it over, back through center. Good, we have three, twist. Last two. Last one here, and then bring it right back in nice and careful. We're gonna take this long loop, hang it right back up, and then we're gonna step our knees farther back to the edge of the carriage. I'm gonna take my hands out onto the carriage. One hand is grasping around the shoulder rest, other hand is kind of just in the center, and I'm just gonna lean myself forward and then bring my hips back over the knees. Lean it forward, and then pull it right back in, similar to short box, not short box abdominals, <laughs> similar to kneeling abs facing front. Pulling right back in, two more here, press it out, and pull one more here, press it out, and pull, and then you're gonna press out in Stay out, stay here, long through the front of the head. We're gonna rock the arms in and out here. We're song the arms out a few inches. Pull right back and really crushing into those obliques here, strong through the core, pressing. Gliding right back in, we take it for three, scooping the abs. Last two. One more here, press it out. Pull right back in, bring it all the way in. We're gonna finish with a planking thing for the side, so tuck the toes, lift the knees up. You're gonna send yourself out into that fully extended plank again. Saw the arms out and in. If this is too challenging for you or any of your clients, we come back to that knee variation. Slide in and out, just a few more here to finish. Slide in and out for three. Feel those abs fire up for two. One more here, bring it all the way in, bend those knees, let the carriage part. And then carefully closing, we're gonna come off and we're gonna take it right to the other side. So let's grab our box here. You can always take it into a lunging series after this. I just did not set my camera up to come to stand today. Come back into that box right up next to the carriage. Just a little bit of space here. We're in our all fours. Knees here towards the edge of the box, hands are towards the front. And again, you can always come into that planking series too, but we're gonna get right into it. So right hand this time comes onto the shoulder rest, bending and extending through this side. Bending the arm in, pressing right back out. 
Nice and strong for the supporting arm. Equal weight through those knees, press it out, bend it right back in. Good, press and then equal weight through arm and knees. Let's take two more here before we start to jump the carriage out. And then when you're ready, we start to press and jump, catch it. Press and jump and catch. Reach away, grabbing at that carriage, resisting. Big shoulder is gliding down the back. As we catch last few for four. Reach and grab. Maybe we get a little bit more aggressive. Try to press it out farther. Last one. Grabbing onto the shoulder rest. Press it all the way out. I bring my knee to the center. Left leg now reaches towards the floor. We're lifting and lowering that leg. Keep reaching through the arm. Equal weight through knee and supporting arm. Tap it down. Squeeze and lift it right back up. Let's go for whatever range of motion works best for you. We're not arching the back as we lift for two. One more, stay lifted. We bring the knee and elbow in, bend everything in, send it right back out. And we're not rounding the spine here. We're thinking about arm and glute. Yes, core is working, bend and reach. Everything comes in, everything extends for four. Keep those hips level. Exhale, pull the knee in. Last two. Last one, send it out, hold it out. Little pulses up with this left leg. Little pulses, reach, reach, four, three, two. And then pull everything in, letting that carriage close. We're gonna grab onto that long loop. Coming onto the knees here, equal weight between the knees. Arm comes all the way through, hands back behind the head, and then we crunch away from the tower, nice and tall, crunching to the foot bar, right back up, head is back into the hands, thinking of length as we crunch over, and right back up, final three, equal through the knees, squeezing the glutes for two, one more here, crunch it over, rise all the way up nice and tall. We take that rotation and back to center. And it might be a really small rotation, completely fine. Back to center, little twist into this right oblique here. We're twisting and the center, take it for three, squeeze the glutes equal through the knees for two. One more here, twist. Back to center, carefully taking this arm out. We place it back up, or we drop it. And then knees are gonna come towards the back of the box. Left hand comes around that shoulder rest, other hand just out towards the middle. We drop the hips forward, and then we pull ourselves right back. And if you need more support, you can always switch to a medium spring. Put on a blue instead of that yellow. Hips, and then reach the glutes, good. Hinge it forward. Reach it back. And reach, good. Final two. Light that reverse kneeling as, it's not your reverse, they're facing forward. One more here, stay out, hold it here. Saw the arms out and in. Really feel those abdominals kicking on. Slide it out, pull right back in, take it four. Scoop the abs up and away. Sawing that carriage, last two, last one, and then bring it right back and let it park for a moment, hips come back, we're gonna tuck the toes, and then we send our carriage all the way out into that full plank, growing through the crown of the head again, we saw the arms in and out, leveling up that move we just did, again, if it feels better, we stay on the knees, you can always have your feet on the ground here too, slide it out, Right back in, take it for four. Saw those arms, scooping the belly button for two. Last one, pull everything in, carefully letting that carriage close. Let's take a quick seat back, clasp the hands together, and let's roll those wrists out here. Give them a moment, that was a lot of wristy work. Give them that release, that stretch. 
Awesome. And then coming right back. Feel free to take your stretches, whatever else you need here. Feel more than welcome to add some more into this class as well. If you are looking for some full length classes, join my website, movementwithjill.com. I have full length reformer classes, mat classes, everything you can think of Pilates related, some mentoring, everything like that. Feel free to reach out to me. I would love to hear from you. Subscribe, comment, like. Thanks for participating. Have a great day.